We're going to be reacting and giving our analysis of the newest trailer for the movie Trap. It's M. Night Shyamalan's newest film that he directed and wrote. Um, we're going to react to it. We're going to give our critical thoughts afterwards, so stick around for that. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Lady Raven. Oh, Hurry, get on. Wait, 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 wait. I got time shoot. No dad jokes, this is serious. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, Lady Raven. Okay. 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 I'm down. feeling Thank it. you. Thank you. This is literally the best day of my life. Feeling it. I'm vibing with this. Hey, I gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah. I can leave you here in the seat. I'm good, Dad. Oh, cameras. Hey, what's going on? Officers. Cooper, Jamie. What's with all the police trucks outside? The camera's everywhere, Jamie. I'm not supposed to tell. Something not happening? No, uh, Don't rat me out. I won't. You know the butcher? The freaking nut job that goes around just chopping people up? Well, the feds or whatever heard that he's gonna be here today. So they set up a trap for him. This whole concert? It's a trap. They're watching all the exits, they're checking everyone that leaves. No way to get out of here. Oh, he's gonna be in. Dang it, man. Somebody help me! Dad. 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 I'm sorry, Riley. What was that? Your daughter's never gonna forget this day. <laughs> You're kind of dope, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, mm, that's that's then. fascinating. So my first impressions. Um, one, it's an effective way to do a trailer to have a lot yeah. of exposition i mean they really want to set up the story and the setting here for this yeah. story they didn't have to but i think setting it up with that big exposition exposition dump is important because it's going to intrigue people to watch it i think if they just did some interesting shots and didn't develop <laughs> like the plot maybe people won't be as interested if they just see like oh this is just another generic trailer it's kind of an interesting yeah. approach to formatting a trailer you know it's it's funny everybody knows that that police officer he, everybody knows that that guy i think the, another interesting aspect to this is the, the actor i don't know his name mm -hmm. yet i haven't looked him up but the actor yeah. that that it seems like there's he's in his head a lot he's going to be in his head a lot for this film because he's going to be in a scenario where he's trying to figure it out <laughs> try this psycho killer trying to figure out how to escape unless he's not going to be the psycho killer and he's doing something for the psycho killer who knows um mm -hmm. but it's it seems like the, the actor is placing is doing a good job even in the short shots we saw oh, yeah to yeah communicate him like there's a lot going on behind his eyes and it's also really interesting that this actor was able to embody kind of the look of a psycho mixed with yeah. kind of like fun loving dad who's kind of you know i mean it it works i i don't know this actor very well but i freaking i think it works even in the small amount we got right we talked about this on the podcast and you'll see that on the podcast that's coming out on friday but i'm predicting the dad even though they set him up to be the killer in this, M. Night is is known for his twists. At least he tries these twists that that work or they don't work. I don't know. You you decide. 
Sure. I think the dad is not going to be the killer. He's almost, I don't know what the twist is. I think it's clearly making him look like it so you can anticipate him as, as the bad guy. But maybe not. Maybe not. There's not a twist, but I think there probably will be. What's interesting also, it said in the world of M. Night Shyamalan. Yeah. And so this could I'm be assuming, in that world. Well, what is the worlds that he set up with each other? So we know so that Unbreakable, we, have, we know Split, we know uh, Glass. Those are all in the yes. same world. We'll see. I, I, I'm i not sure if other M. Night Shyamalan's are, films are connected. I know there's a lot of connection points, but I know those three are together. I'm interested to see if this is going to be set up in the same world as those three. Yeah. Films. Yeah, we'll see. I, um, I think that it probably will be because they said that. So final impressions. I'm interested to see why he chose. Cause I know like in glass, I watched some interviews that he did and color coordination around the different characters is important. Um, yeah. and they're identifying and they, you saw, we saw a lot of red colors in this for representing, I guess the dark sides yeah, of him. It, so I, I don't, it did feel like the, the Batman, you know, the one that came out a couple years ago, how there was a lot of dark, but red tones. Yeah, but it, directors use colors in different ways. It, it has a similar vibe, but it's it's communicating okay. a message that the director has. I mean, I thought it was clearly communicating a message. He's Batman. <laughs> He's Batman. Well, I mean, there, that's there's the message. You can't, you can't take one director's <laughs> use of I'm red kidding. and apply I'm it to kidding. another director's <laughs> use of red. No, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know what he's telling. It just it felt very dark with red tones to it. So, yes, I would agree. Sure. Uh, let us know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you are you a fan of M Night Shyamalan's movies and his stories and his twists? Give us your thoughts down there. Also, consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel and sticking around for more videos just like this. We'll see you yeah. next time. <laughs>